hello students welcome back in the last session we were discussing about nested and inner classes in that we have studied what is a nested class and two different categories of nested classes the categories are static and non static nested classes so in the last session we have discussed about static nested class with a example program in today's session we will discuss about non static nested classes so non static nested classes is also called as uh, the inner classes so let's start an inner class is associated with an instance of its enclosing class and has direct access to the objects methods and fields also because an inner class is associated with an instance it cannot define any static members itself now important thing about inner class is that inner class is not associated directly with the enclosing class but inner class is associated with an instance that is the object of enclosing class uh, we have discussed about uh, static nested class so static nested class is not associated with instance of enclosing class static nested class is not associated with instance of its enclosing class but inner classes are associated with an instance of its enclosing class that means for every instance of uh, outer class we can have an instance of inner class as well but that is not possible in case of uh, static nested classes in case of static nested classes the nested class is associated with the outer class itself not the instance of outer class so that is important here and one more important thing about inner class is that the inner class can directly access uh, the objects methods and fields and that is not possible with the static nested class uh the another thing about uh, the inner class is uh, as uh, the inner class is associated uh, with an instance of outer class the inner class cannot define any static members itself in the class ke okay, objects uh, that are instances of inner class exist within instance of outer class so that means we can uh, create objects uh, of inner class through the objects of outer class and inner class objects only exist within the outer class object okay uh, one uh, syntax of uh, inner class uh, how inner class is defined that is given here we have a outer class and inside the outer class we have inner class now you can see there is no static keyword before the class so you can call this nested class as a inner class okay an instance uh, of inner class can exist only within the instance of outer class uh, as we have discussed and has direct access to methods and fields of enclosing instances uh, to initiate an inner class now how to initiate or how to create an object of inner, inner class you must first instantiate the outer class so this is important here to create an object of inner class we must first create an object of outer class then create inner object within the outer object now look at the syntax uh, how we can create uh, the inner object 
so the syntax is uh, the name of uh, the outer class so for example outer class itself dot dot the name of the inner class name of the inner class then space the object name uh, any name can be given for the object name then equals to so this is important so here the object of outer class so this is the object of outer class we need to first create this object and then to create an inner object we have to use the outer object dot the new operator then again the constructor of inner class so this is how we can create an object of inner class remember the syntax to create object of uh, static nested class it is straightforward and it is different from this in case of static uh, nested classes it was uh, outer class dot inner class space object is equals to outer class dot inner class uh, it was uh, okay uh, is equals to new then outer class dot the constructor of inner class that was the syntax to create uh, an object of uh, static nested class but the syntax to create an object of inner class it is different so first we need to create an object of outer class then by using that object you can see it here outer object dot new then the inner class constructor okay let us uh, look at an example to understand this in a better way a similar example uh, you can see here the class it's the outer class and this class defines a variable uh, x is equals to 10 then uh, we have one more class class inner class and inner class also defines one variable and the variable is y is equals to 5 uh, this variable is also instance variable and x is also instance variable of outer class okay and we have our main class the class uh, my main class uh, which contains the main method from inside the main method uh, say i want to create an object of uh, uh, the inner class how i can create an object of inner class for that you can see here what code we have included first we have created an object of outer class outer class space uh, the object name is my outer is equal to new outer class so first the object of outer class is created so then by using my outer we can create an object of inner class the name uh, itself is again inner class so how it is created you can see here outer class the outer class name it is dot inner class name of the inner class space the object name is equals to so this here it is the name of our outer class object which we have created here you can see here my outer we have created so by using my outer dot new then the constructor of inner class so this is how you can create an object of inner class and once you have the object of inner class you can access the properties of inner class and uh, one more thing about inner class as we have studied inner class has direct access to the properties of outer class as well so if you create an object of inner class even uh, the outer class variables uh, outer class fields can be accessed now you can see here we have system dot out dot print and uh, you can see my inner this is the object of inner class dot y we are accessing the property y uh, which is the property of inner class itself and then plus we are doing an addition there my outer dot x we are using uh, we are even accessing x here so we are adding uh, the values of uh, inner class y and outer class x and this will display the result that is output that is 15 because that is 5 plus 10 even x uh, 
this x can be accessed by using uh, the inner class object because as I have said the inner class has access to the outer class variables and methods. Okay, let me uh, demonstrate this uh, by executing this program. Okay, this is our program. I have uh, saved the program. So, let us uh, compile and execute. Okay, so compile it Java C file name dot Java. So, program is compiled. Uh, let us execute Java space file name and you can see it is printing the output as 15. So, my inner dot y that is 5 plus my outer dot x that is 10 and the output is 15. Now, as I have said uh, inside the inner class we can uh, have access to the members of outer class. Uh, by using an object my inner I cannot access y because uh, the scope of my inner that is the object of inner class it is different from the scope of outer class but from the body of inner class itself we can access the outer class variable that is x so we can say int of y is equals to y plus x So, we are directly accessing the variable of outer class from the inner class remember and this is possible only when you have uh, an inner class that is a non-static nested class. So, let us compile it again. Okay, You can see the output is 15. So, this is how uh, we can create an inner class in Java. So, inner class that is a non-static nested class which is also called as inner class. Okay, uh, that is it uh, in today's session. Uh, we will stop here. Thank you.